Hey guys, the Cubed here, and today I have part 2 of the countdown of my top 10 favorite puzzles in my collection. If you guys are curious as to where part 1 is, go ahead and click right there. There will also be an annotation in the description down below. It was on the Cubing World channel, which is a great channel with a bunch of tips and tricks for all of you cubers. There's tips for a lot of puzzles, for OH, for Look Ahead, F2L, the last F2L slot. There's just a bunch of cool tips. They also have a website, which will also be in the description. But I, I was a guest on the Guest Sunday on that channel, so go ahead and check out part one before continuing on with this video. So hopefully you guys already watched part one if you are currently watching this part. So I'm going to continue on with the fifth favorite puzzle in my collection, which happens to be the Mefford's Gear Ball. This puzzle can be actually bought at your local Barnes & Noble, or at least that's where I bought mine. I know they have them for $20 there. So if you guys live near Barnes & Noble, I highly recommend you guys go check out to see if they have this. And I also think they have the gear shift there now. I saw somebody uh, bought a Mefford's gear shift from a bookstore. Not sure if it was Barnes & Noble, but anyways, I have to say this gear ball, it has the same mechanism as a gear cube, but this is one of the smoothest turning puzzles I have ever felt. And I guarantee if you ask anyone else with the gear ball, they will tell you they their gear ball is extremely smooth. I haven't lubed this at all, but the people who have lubed theirs with the drop of Mario lube can tell you it's one of the smoothest things you'll ever feel. It's very fun to solve, and it has these ridges, which are helpful for the grip. Alright, so there's that gear ball. The gear ball is extremely smooth. Go ahead and check it out at your local Barnes & Noble so you guys don't have to pay for shipping. Very fun puzzle to solve, and I highly recommend this over the gear cube. So now on to my fourth favorite puzzle in my collection. My fourth favorite puzzle in my collection is currently my main 3x3, which happens to be the 57mm GANS 3, which is also known as the GANS 3 V3. I have a review on this on my channel. I haven't touched the tension or added any drop of lube since unboxing it. This is pretty much a stock cube right here. It's perfect out of the box in my opinion. Might be a little bit loose for some people, but it's extremely smooth. Gans has definitely improved from the V2. And if you guys would like to see a more in-depth review on this, go ahead and check out the review, which I uploaded, I think, a few days ago, maybe even last week. But I will have a link to that on the cube right here, so go ahead and click on the cube to watch an in-depth review of this puzzle. Now on to my third favorite puzzle. For my third favorite puzzle in my collection, I have the Handmade Ghost Cube. I have ordered the four other Ghost Cubes, and they have recently added Metallic Ghost Cubes, and I will also be getting that. And then with the first four that I mentioned, I will be hopefully getting the fifth limited edition because I ordered, I pre-ordered them right away, right when they were out on the Mefferts website. And I'm pretty sure one of the first few orders get those. Anyways, uh, this puzzle is handmade by, I actually can't say who, but if you guys would like to buy this for yourself, instead of getting the mass-produced ones by Mefferts on Mefferts.com, which are for pre-order right now, just PM me and I'll give you the email or the contact information. They are about $100. I think the price is actually raised to $110, and that is with the shipping included. But I think it might be worth it. If you're a collector, I highly recommend you guys get this. It's extremely smooth. I am i can't wait to get the mass-produced ones to compare them. But this puzzle is very fun to solve. It's just simply a 3x3 mod. It's, I guess, the hardest 3x3 mod out there, but it's still pretty easy once you get the hang of it. But as you can see, it's very smooth. It's really easy to turn with just one finger. And when most cubers see it, they always try it, and then most of them fail. But if, I'm pretty sure if they just put, if they just sit down and work at it for about 5 to 10 minutes, I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll get the hang of it and figure it out. Anyways, this puzzle is very fun to have. I'm really happy I have it in my collection, and that it's not just the mass-produced one. I love having this handmade one. I bring it to a bunch of competitions, but I always keep it on me because it's one of my most prized uh, cubes in my collection, and I'm really happy to have it. So now on to my second favorite puzzle in my collection. So my second favorite puzzle in my collection, it was pretty hard to choose. It was between this and first place, and it was, I couldn't choose which one to make second, which one to make first. I finally decided on making the Hexaminx my second favorite puzzle. This was made with the help of T Tony Fisher, Calvin's Puzzle, and Trifum. What this is is a Megaminx. So let me quickly grab a Megaminx here and show you guys the star. So you can see the center and then edge, 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 corner, 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 corner. So there's a one layer. So what they did is uh, they took a Megaminx and made it cubic. It's kind of pillowed, uh, like a, I guess they made it cubic. But here is the star. There is the center. Then edge, edge goes down here. So that little white triangle goes down to this little green sliver. So edge, 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 and corner, 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 corner. So it's solved the same way as a Megaminx. So this puzzle is very fun to solve. It does shape shift, as you guys can see right here. 
It doesn't jumble though, it's just like a regular Mega Minx. This mechanism is the same if you take it apart. I'm pretty sure you could even put in these pieces into here, but I'm not going to go ahead and try that. Maybe like an MF8 V2 pieces, because those are pretty simple. But this puzzle is very fun to solve. If you go out in public with this, people will just go crazy over this. This is this looks so crazy once it's scrambled, as you can see, it's already getting pretty intense. But it's actually not that hard. It's kind of like the ghost cube of Mega Minxes in a way. It's, it looks really hard at first, but then once you're actually solving it, it gets a lot easier. So now on to my all-time favorite puzzle in my collection. So my all-time favorite puzzle in my collection, I actually sold, and then I bought another one using that money because I had a black one, and then the sticker started falling off, so I got the stickerless Diane Wheel of Wisdom. This puzzle does kind of piss me off at times because it does catch a lot. These little corners, right, the little triangles catch so often, but this puzzle is such a fun puzzle to solve. It scrambles like this, like a regular 3x3, and the stickerless actually is a little bit harder. Because underneath the, these two corner pieces, the, the little rounded bits of a circle, I guess, like half circles or quarter circles, under that is colored plastic, and you have to solve those part too. On the black one, you didn't even have to really solve those. You just kind of solved it like a 2x2 two two with just the corners. But here you have to solve it like a 3x3 three three first. And let me try and get some pieces to catch. So right there, what where is it catching? Right here on this blue triangle, you can see it's catching... It does get really annoying, so I just push hard and then usually turns all right. But along with turning like a three by three, you can also turn the the wheel part like that, and then it gets scrambled like this. So that's pretty crazy. This puzzle is actually a lot easier than you might think. It's one of my favorite puzzles to solve, and I absolutely love it. And I do not want to have scrambled this already. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and buy this from CubesEZ, it's only for about $45, and you can get free shipping there, it's the cheapest place to buy it. So I'm really happy I have this puzzle in my collection, I'm pretty sure this will always be one of my top, or definitely it will be in my top three, but for now it's my all-time favorite puzzle in my collection, it's very fun to solve, and I'm really happy I have this in my collection. So if you guys watched through this video without watching part one, go ahead and watch part one. It's okay that you guys didn't watch part one first, I guess, but still, I highly recommend you guys go check out Cubing World, go check out the part one. I'll have a link to that in the description, as well as the Cubing World website, which has a bunch of different tips by a bunch of fast cubers for a bunch of different puzzles, like 3x3, 2x2, 4x4, Pyraminx, some blind, and it's made by Noah Arthurs. So thank you, Noah, for messaging me and asking me to be a guest on your guest Sunday. I really do appreciate it. So I won't be doing the typical outro stuff. However, the letters for this video are NUB. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Also, let me know down in the comments below what your guys' favorite puzzles are. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.